again. I hope everyone is doing well. I want to thank everyone for watching my previous video. For those that are new, welcome to the Glorious Family. Today I have before you all some crab legs. It's been a while since I had crab legs. Um, I have some potatoes, I have sausage, I have egg, and I have corn. So it's been a while since I had um, a seafood boil. So it's been a while and we're going to talk a little bit about why I haven't been doing as much monk bangs. So let me go ahead and get started in the feast with this feast and then we're going to get on with the topic. All right, I'm so excited. It's been a while since I had a seafood boil. Sauce here. Mm. Delicious. There's some potatoes. I'm actually starving today, guys. This is my first meal for today. I was busy. I'm doing a lot. Today. But it's been a lot going on since the last video. Um, so as you guys know, I'm still in school, almost done. Finished up my last three classes. So I should be graduating this coming spring so I'm excited about that but at the same time I'm stressed this is so good the sauce I have is actually honey garlic crab leg is so good and it's fresh So fresh. But one of the reasons why that I ha actually haven't been posting or doing mukbangs is because I'm not quitting or anything like that. It's just that <clears throat> it's a lot when you're trying to watch your weight and try to even watch your health. So, um, actually trying to eat more healthier and try to maintain my weight, lose weight. So I've been working out for the last four weeks to be exact. But my question to everyone, especially to those that do a lot of mukbangs, like what did you guys actually do to Maintain your weight or to stay in shape by doing mukbangs. Because there's a lot of eating going on. <clears throat> Not only that, but with doing mukbangs, especially with seafood, I noticed we use a lot of butter sauce. All types of butter sauce. And it's really good, don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, it's not always good for you. So that's something that I was actually trying to get away from is eating a lot of bad food, especially if I'm working out now. So I'm trying to, you know, be careful. I'm trying to maintain, I'm trying to eat healthy. Like I said, I haven't had this in a while. So I would still do this, but I would do it every now and then. But that's something that I can't keep eating and try to maintain. So if you guys know the technique or if you guys know the secret of doing mukbangs and being able to stay in shape, please tell me. So I know since I've been, um, there's other things that I'm doing too. That's why I'm losing weight. So that's not the only thing. 
but um, I know that I had lost within a week or two, I lost a total of 11 pounds. So, egg here too. So, I'm just trying to maintain because I'm really not a tall person, I'm average, but. Because I'm not that tall, I think I weigh a little um, too much for my height, according to my doctor. So, I think we all can eat better, eat healthier. Um, yeah, so this is something I wouldn't eat all the time. It was actually hard. Um, I try to see what else that I can come up with for YouTube rather than eating all the time. And I know a lot of times people want to see seafood. And they, we all know that yeah, seafood is not that cheap. Not cheap at all. Especially with everything in the grocery store going up today. But, yeah, so that's the main reason is because, you know, I've been working out for the last four weeks and I'm trying to, like, stay in shape and eat healthy and eat smart. You know, we're not getting no younger, you know, so we just have to do what's best for us. We have to do what's best for us. But whether you're young or old, we should all try to learn how to eat right. Um, I actually had incorporated avocado in my diet. So I eat stuff like um, avocado, um, plain oatmeal. I don't get the fruited oatmeal. I eat the plain oatmeal and then maybe put like a fresh fruit in the oatmeal. Um, stuff like that. A yogurt. Um, a granola bar. Um, and don't get me wrong, because I love food. To be honest, I love more food than I do sweet. So, I'm okay. It's not hard for me to get away from, like, junk food. Because I'm not really big on junk food. Like, sweet sugars and all that. It's more like the food for me. This sauce is good. It's more like the food for me. But it's been a struggle. But I've been doing pretty good. So I'm proud of myself. But I want to continue to do these things. But I want to come up with some ideas. And maybe do something more healthier. Mm. But. You know, we just got to eat healthier. And then if you guys know any other good food source that's good for someone that's trying to maintain their weight or to try to shape, stay in shape, please put it in the um, comment section and I will take a look because this is a new journey for me. So I'm still learning all the calorie intakes and all. So yeah, please share if you don't mind. I still have like B-Love sauce and all that. Two times spicy. I have all that. But I actually been staying away from it. Um, I used to get extra sauce um, even in my um, seafood boil when I do get seafood boils. But um, I've been staying away from that. I just got the regular portion, which they didn't give me that much um, in here. And I got the honey garlic. And believe it or not, honey, it's actually good for you. But I'm not sure what um what they use. It could be butter or oil. I'm not sure. But I know extra um, virgin olive is good for you too. So I incorporate that in my cooking as well. Mm. Oh, my sweet. So... 
So that's been, you know, the main thing about, you know, doing these mukbangs. It's a lot of wear tear on your body. It really is. I'm just going to be honest. I'm not going to front. And I'm sure other mutt babies could contest to that. That eating like this with all this butt and stuff <clears throat> has put pounds on. <clears throat> and I know it did for me. So I lost 11 pounds. And I'm looking to lose more. Um, I don't want to be too skinny, but I still can stand it, you know, lose a little more. Like I said, I'm not that tall. So, it's just, it just one of those. So, I'm not going to stall myself. I still, you know, but eat. But I would just watch my portions. Another thing is, you know, try not to eat after a certain time in the evening. You know, especially before I'm um, going to bed. Um... In my regular daily day, I also incorporate exercises. I exercise every day um, before I go to, go to bed. No, I don't exercise in, in the morning. And I know most people say exercise in the morning is like best because you can burn off the calories. Um, I got to be to work so early. I mean, not that I can't do it. I don't want to make excuses. But <clears throat> sis be tired, okay? But, um, but I still get it in and it's working for me. I'm going to see if I, um, have a picture to do a before and after. Because I had a belly and I actually had lost some of my belly. Um, that's working well for me. Um... And to be honest, the exercises that I'm doing, I got it from YouTube. I think it's called Ro Roberta Exercise. And it has different exercises you can do. The particular one that I actually do is the one that calls, it's called the eight best exercise to fatten your belly. So that's what, um, that's the one I use. And then there's another one that's called, um, it's an exercise that melt um, your belly. So I, I do both of those while um, alternate. Or I double up. To, so, yeah. So, I have a, a strategy, which I, I do, you know, every evening. And I actually do my exercise Monday through Friday. I don't do weekends. I take a break on the weekends. But I do uh, Monday through Friday. I have to stay, you know, in shape. And we have to do this best for us all. Yeah, so tell me some of the goals that you guys are working on this year. And no, I'm not going to say it's a goal that I was actually working on um, this year for the, you know, the new year, 2022. This is something that I just want to do for me. I, I wasn't even thinking about it because it's a new year. I mean, it had to be a new year, but that's great. But what are some of your goals that you're trying to accomplish? Um, whether it's this year or the end of this year. Uh with a some because I think it's awesome because once you get to that point and you start to see results, it's encouraging to just keep going and keep going. And that's how I feel with simply just like you losing weight. I'm excited because I see results. So I just want to keep on and keep on. And then I also want to encourage others, you know, to do the same thing. I'm going to put it in, um, Description box of the exercise that I used from the other YouTube. That's called Roberta's um, Home Exercise. I put it in the description box. No, they didn't tell me to do this, but I feel like the exercise is working for me. And I wanted to share with you guys just in case you wanted to join in. And then um, maybe on the next video, you guys can share. If you use it or not, and then you can also share, like, if you start to see results. To be honest, 
I think I start seeing results like after two and a half weeks, going into my third week is when I actually start, you know, seeing results. And I'm getting full. But this is so good. I got this seafood. I didn't make this. So I got this seafood in my area. It's called um, this wings and seafood. They are uh, they're good. Their food is good. Um, believe it or not, all this food that you saw was only twenty some dollars. So it was really reasonable, I think. I think it was really reasonable. I think they give you a lot for your money. I think I had like three and a half clusters or something. So it, it's a lot of it was a lot of food. And I'm getting full. <clears throat> so guys, like I said, um, I'm going to try to think of something that I can change up a little bit. And then maybe instead of eating all the time, you know, do some cooking or some recipe or something healthy or... So we'll see how it all goes. Um, I'm still trying to get acquainted with this video stuff and recording and, you know. I don't think they even... I haven't even got that down packed. But my main concern is I want to, you know, kind of just change up my eating habit a little bit. But like I said, most people like to see like seafood mukbangs and um um African food mukbangs and maybe sushi. Um so I guess maybe I'll change it up and do that. I did have African food before. I had igusi um with the um fufu, which was really good. Um that video is also um would be in my description box if you guys want to take a look at that. Um, yeah. But other than that, how's everybody? Everyone has been well and safe. Look like the cases are going down. Woohoo. Look like the cases are going down. Um, we just got to continue to pray for the condition of this world. That everything will go back to normal, at least close to normal, you know what I mean? But this is really, really good. What are some of you guys' struggles, you know, with like eating is it food as well or is it junk food or is it the sodas now i got rid of sodas last year i gave it up but it was hard at one point but you know soda blows you up it was, it was putting pounds on me my stomach was bloated i just didn't like how i was making my body feel so, um, I actually gave it up. But like I said, it's not easy. It's not that easy, but, you know, Gloria's family can motivate each other. We can motivate each other, you know, on this journey. We can all do this together, you know. Share share our secrets of things that we're doing to help one another. Because whatever I come up with and it helps me, I'm going to share with you guys. Another thing you guys tell me too. Um, I was told to get like um, like a nice size water bottle and put water in there. And I think they said to put lemon and lime or I can take um, the water jug and put water in it and put like, um, I think it's called vinegar cider or something like that. But let me know. If you know that secret, please share and let me know. Yep, definitely. Guys, I need a lot. I think I'm getting full.
Yeah, didn't have much butter sauce in here, just a little. Now I would do a butter sauce only if someone is selling like the healthy butter sauce with like extra virgin um the oil or something like that. But other than that, like I said, I still have love sauce. So if I was to make that, I might just only just use like the chicken stock. But I probably wouldn't use butter um for that. Nope, so I'm just trying to, you know, get in shape, stay fit, and um, because your sis, I will be, next year I will be 50, so I want to continue to look good, so I'm coming up on 49 in a few months, so I just want to be in shape, and I still want to look good for my age, what about you? Alright guys, I am all done, thank you for watching my video. I will see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn that notification bell on so every time I post a video, you'll be the first to know that a new video has been posted. Thank you again, guys. Love you all. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.